From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. Expect another hot afternoon across the Bay Area today. Greg D will have your full forecast coming up. But first, though, let's get to your ABC Action News headlines. A Citrus Rock family says somebody's just stole a third horse from them, and now they're worried their beloved horses will be killed and sold for their meat. Two retired racehorses, Donna and Storm, were stolen late last month. More than a week later, another horse is now missing. I just have questions why. Like, why come and take things away from not only my family, but my kids. Deputies are investigating. If you know anything about what happened, give them a call. Jury selection continues in the trial of the man accused of killing a nine year old girl. Attorneys went through more than 150 potential jurors on Monday. Prosecutors say Granville Ritchie killed Felicia Williams in 2014 and dumped her body near the Courtney Campbell Causeway. A trapper was called out to the Wawa in Sun City Center around two this morning to remove a gator that was spotted with a snout taped shut. The trapper says the gator would have starved to death if he hadn't caught it. A burglary in one Pasco County community has neighbors on edge now. Detectives have not identified the four suspects who broke into a condo at the Toscano at Suncoast Crossings. The family was out of town at a funeral. The homeowner says the thieves stole money, jewelry, and there's something bizarre. Stole his kids baby teeth. A neighbor that we spoke to wonders how the suspects got into their gated community. That's kind of it's kind of odd because that's at four. It looked like four something in the morning. It looked like for the video. Um, if that's a, that early in the morning, there's not a whole lot of movement going on here at that time. The homeowner posted still frames of the suspects on social media. People are sharing it. That means more eyes on the suspects. Hillsborough County officials are moving forward now with a multi-million dollar project in the Citrus Park area to ease traffic congestion. It's going to connect Citrus Park Drive from Sheldon Road to Country Way Boulevard. Officials want to hear from you. They want to hear your input on this project. Uh, there will be a public information meeting at 630 this evening at Sickles High School. Well, some of the best soccer players from South America are in Tampa for a friendly game. The Game of Brotherhood match at Raymond James Stadium tonight features the Colombian and Venezuelan national men's soccer teams. Colombia is currently ranked number eight in the world. Both teams are preparing for the 2022 World Cup qualifying matches. Uh, the game kicks off at 8 o'clock. Greg, hopefully the weather's going to be nice for it. I think it will be, dear. I think it's going to be hot, but it will be dry right there through 8 o'clock. Take a look at the temperature forecast. 8 o'clock as that game begins, 87 degrees. We'll spend much of the afternoon in the 90s. Of course, this time of year, it's all about what it will feel like. And that's the triple digits for the afternoon. But during the game, the heat index is going to drop from the 90s into the 80s. And the chance for rain? Uh, not looking all that high, maybe 10% at the most. Most of us will remain dry. Of course, you can track any pop up storms by downloading the Storm Shield app. Dia. All right, thank you, Greg. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. Just download the free ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, or Apple TV.